And finally, we have one more person speaking. Now, this may be a little unorthodox, especially as Norris wanted it to be a surprise. He wrote a letter, his final words, and he wanted it read by a person that I, I think I can say without fear of contradiction is one of the true pillars of our little community. A man that we all love and trust very much. Roy. I, 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 I just read it. Yes, but we want it. <clears throat> right. Um, hello, all. I hope you are all having a lovely day. Uh, don't let the fact that I'm dead spoil it. I'm very much like Eva Peron in that respect. Don't cry for me, Argentina. I really did have the most wonderful life, friends, a community. Some people I didn't care for, obviously. But in the newsagent game, that's factored in. I have jotted down a few ideas so I don't leave anyone out. First donkey out of the gate, Frida. We had some fun, didn't we? Yeah, we did. These twilight years with you are very special to me. I probably should have told you that more while I was alive. Yeah, just once would have been nice. In fact, it was you who gave me this idea. You were always badgering me about what I'd like at my funeral. Eulogies and songs and what not. Uh, morbid, I call it. Anyway, I won't be there, will I? So what's the point of playing my favourite songs? So instead, I picked a few I can't stand. Safe in the knowledge that I won't have to hear them ever again. Enjoy. Dear Mary, I will miss you very much. Oh, Norris, stroke Roy. No. Mary, Mary, do you want another tablet, no. sweetheart? No, she doesn't. You were another one who never stopped badgering me about what kind of funeral I wanted. I remember once when you were in full flow, just to shut you up, I said I didn't care what my funeral was like as long as you attended in your Princess Leia outfit. But even you're not daft enough to fall for that. To all my friends on the street, thank you. At least to those who've bothered to show up. So here's to you, my neighbours, my friends. Here's to you, lovey. Here's to you. Shh. Can't take that to the grave. The paper boy. The one outside the shop. There's something inside, something hidden, something precious. Oh, it's like Indiana Jones. Oh, yeah, the Ark of the Covenant is hidden in the paper, boy. It's too bulky for a start. Uh, and, and now that's got you wondering, my last word has to go to Rita, if you're still kicking about. You really were the sunshine of my life. Another song I can't stand. You were the best friend I ever had. I'm so glad we stayed so close. Oh, so am I. <laughs> because if Sleepless in Seattle taught us anything, 
Yes, Frida's got me into rom-coms. It can be very difficult steering that steady course between friendship and sexual tension that always exists between man and woman. What? Especially when they work so closely together, toiling in the trenches, cheek by jowl, day after day. That's a sweet shot, not the Western Front. Shh, man. And <clears throat> though we never made that final leap. What final leap? It's Red Room. <laughs> Ladies, please. I still spent some of the happiest years of my life with you. You made my life better, Rita, and I thank you for it. And just for that, I will take one secret to the grave with me. I swear I will never tell another soul that you used to go to Claudia to get your colour done. And uh, that's it. You told me she did it herself. Oh, man. Oh, Claudia, I did expect it from you. But Rita... Audrey, for goodness sake, remember where you are. You! Oh, thank you so much for ruining my day. Oh, man. Oh, don't man me. Now, if you'd all like to stand to sing, Norris's next choice. <laughs> 